Welcome back to Drag Racing. Today I'm giving you my first uh, initial uh, impressions of uh, driving this 22 Dodge Challenger RT uh, with the six-speed manual. Uh, Dad's owned this car for a few months now and uh, he hasn't even let me sit in it. It's got less than 5,000 miles in it and uh, we just got done doing an oil change so uh, that's my first initial uh, drive in it. Initial uh, review. Car sounds great for bone stock exhaust. Uh, this car really doesn't need much to it. It just has a cool factor and it, it sounds great. So, uh, where's so I'm gonna hit the uh, support button there so it doesn't uh, skip shift. And where's the uh, handbrake at to shut that off? Oh, there isn't. It's a oh, it's, it's the first lever, oh, not it's, not the hood. It's one of those. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it takes off. It takes off real easy. It's real nice. Uh, it's a real short throw, really. It's, it doesn't feel like you're, you know, almost like a truck where it's like all day back and forth. Might even feel uh, shorter than the uh, Fiesta. And so far, I mean, it, it is a big car, and but it doesn't in the cabin here at the seats. It doesn't feel like a big car, you know. But it feels like it cruises uh, pretty decently. How many miles a gallon? Or how many miles a gallon do you usually uh, get with this? About 25. That's probably not driving it super easy all the time. Oh, the brakes feel great. I want to take the back road. Oh do, yeah, can. Yeah, do that. getting on a little bit in uh, third gear uh, you know I'm pretty used to uh, fast cars the, the Fiesta's really torquey the Duster's super torquey and they both hit hard uh, for the power to weigh it's still great but you can it's got that torquey feel to it has good pull to it and honestly through some of these curves you know it's heavy car what was it like 4200 pounds or, 4150 yeah who scaled it at and, it doesn't feel it. It feels uh, super responsive. So when you put it in sport, uh, it'll uh, let you not uh, skip shift. And then uh, you have the setting on for like the firmest, uh, the firmest steering feel. Otherwise, you can have like comfort. So it's like a little more lazy. But yeah, it, it handles really well. SUV, you know, it feels. Uh, I like the Fiesta's a little bit better handling, but this this isn't really that far behind. It's not as bad as everybody makes it out to be, you know, being a boat or whatnot. Yeah, that's real nice. That's a good road to drive on, isn't it? Yeah. simulating a 
like a pass. Definitely get out of its own way and make uh, passing pretty easy on a two lane blacktop. Corner at 60, not hard to do. No, that was that was closer to 70. That was yeah, that was real easy. This thing handles phenomenal. I don't I don't know what people are saying. No, this thing's a boat, man. This thing handles great. transmission man it's it gets with the program it's a really crisp and you can just feel yep that's that's the appropriate gear that I don't I think it'd be pretty hard to money shift this thing honestly it really got with it about killed it offline but <laughs> I was also trying not to just obliterate the tires and then you know cruising 60 miles an hour and sixth gear is 1500 rpm with 391 gears so yeah, this thing's a really a highway cruiser it just doesn't care the fiesta uh i think has 391 gears also and a six speed and at 80 i'm at 3000 rpm so that thing really sings compared to this but but when when you do shift though you got to like get back on the throttle you can't just shift sit a second and then get back it doesn't uh doesn't seem to like that as much but Was, uh, that was another uh, dead stop rip. Um, it, I was shifting between 45 and 5, and I, and, uh, I, I wasn't, you know, absolutely just bang gears ripping on it at a 0 60 of 6.8, which uh, set a new best for this car faster than the old man was doing. <laughs> like, what'd you have, a 7 8 or no, 7, 7 3. 3? He had a 7 3, and he said he was. Pooch and I, but uh, I don't know. I, I have no problems with transmit. I think it shifts great. This thing is, and, and going through the gears, it just it, it sounds good. It sounds like a sounds like a muscle car. <laughs> like, is everything a muscle car is? So, yeah, I'm not, not claiming. The car is fast and obviously there's a lot to be improved there i bet you easy five five if you're ripping it like under under six easily um but after that rip i you know slowed it down on this back road it was going like 70 miles an hour we were just cruising there for a little bit i didn't feel like i was going 70. the thing is this thing is just a highway cruiser i feel like you, you cruise 70 to 80 you know all day long in this 35 mile an hour corner going 60 miles an hour on all season tires so no, this is uh it's real good all right coming up to the end of our drive and man it, it's kind of a shame they don't they're not going to be making these anymore because you know this thing is super fun handles great half the price of a loaded truck and probably you probably get it 20 grand cheaper than a scat pack when realistically on the street this thing is probably going to put the power down a lot easier than a scat pack uh so and not horrid gas mileage 
it's it's just such a fun car. I just and I and I can't just get over how great this transmission is, and the, and the, just the sounds it makes. And honestly, could have used more power, a little bit, but it doesn't need. What is this right at three seventy five? Scat packs. 500 so I mean maybe a little bit more but I mean realistically when you if this is your daily commuter when are you going to use another 100 horsepower really and this is perfect for back roads uh, you know just cruising so overall uh, if you can find yourself one of these I, I would I would highly recommend it you know my dad is lucky to come across this one when he did and decided to pull the trigger on it because uh, definitely have this car for uh, a long time and uh, who knows maybe uh, some modifications down the line maybe a little uh, little drag and drive I'm sure we will with the, with this uh, very stout transmission and the very stout rear end we're not I can't see us uh, I can't see us hurting it so with that guys uh, like I said I highly recommend this car if you can find one um, so make sure you like the video, subscribe, we'll see you in the next one.